be sure. So I wanted to share a meditation today that was inspired by a, a practice that I have. I'm also a producer. I am a beat maker, an instrumentalist, a musician of, of many kinds. And I have a practice on my Instagram account, Amani Will, Amani Way, um, where I share regularly instrumentals that I'm working on. And I, I tag the artist that I, I would like to hear over those beats, those instrumentals. And I mix them with a video that I found on Instagram as a way of building community, as a way of having um, conversation, as a way of sharing the music that I'm working on in a, in a captivating way. So today I shared one of a bunch of pool balls, a set of pool balls hanging from strings in a frame, essentially acting as pendulums. And I'll show you the video in a second. Somebody pulls all the balls to one side, lets them swing, and they go through this process um, where they like move through all these different patterns and rhythms. And as far as I understand, what's happening with the pendulum is because they're hanging from the string from a frame, they don't have the regular resistance to G-force, to gravity, to the movements of our celestial bodies and the universe around us in our positionality on earth. And so they just are like, they're moved by that those particular rhythms. And so they show you the rhythms of the celestial bodies and the forces that are always impacting our bodies without resistance. So what, what hit me about that is that that's what happens with us and our bodies when we are meditating, when we drop into stillness, when we drop below the surface of the way that our egos, that our kind of conscious surface minds are holding positions, forms, beliefs, relationships to the outside world and to the inside world. And we actually become realigned by the forces of nature within and without, if there's such a thing. So I wanted to share this video with you and then a practice with you as um, the video as a guided visualization to what is possible for your own inner experience while you meditate. So let's check this video out and then I'll invite us into a practice around it. Produced by Amani Will. Um, this beat is actually about two years old. Uh, one of my favorites, and it's an excerpt of a seven minute long beat that goes through all kinds of different sections, forms, styles, um, vibes. Um, and this is one of my favorite sections of it, and it, it fit perfectly in my mind with, uh, with the pendulums. So enjoy, let yourself imagine that happening to you in the meditation to come as you meditate watching the video. It's short, it's just a minute. Um, and enjoy the music. <laughs> invite you first to notice any impact that that had on you, uh, the way that music lands in you, the way that, that that video, if you were able to let that be a reflection of yourself, 
um, and of the way that forces of nature are always impacting you, working with you, dancing. Um, how did that affect you in your body, in your perspective, in your states? And let's take it deeper. No matter. So, hmm. I want to invite you to start by noticing your whole body. Just kind of scan from the top of your head, past your forehead, your whole skull, your ears, your eyebrows, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your jaw, through your throat, your collarbone, your shoulders, your arms, <clears throat> your chest, your back, your shoulder blades, continuing down your arms, your ribs, your heart, your organs, your internal organs, your elbows, the rest of you, your forearms, your belly, your lower back, your hips, your thighs, your wrists, your hands and fingers, your knees, your calves and shins, your ankles, your feet, your toes. And do that scan a few times, just kind of getting a feel for the shape, the form, the physicality, the weight, the temperature, the emanating energy of your whole body. And just let deep breaths kind of drop you into your body and drop you into a slow presence with your awareness, with the witness. And you can scan top to bottom, bottom to top, back and forth. Notice how it wants to happen, how it happens, how you want it to happen. Do you. And as you scan, see how much you can feel your whole body at once. Let the scan help you Feel your whole body. And notice what parts of your body stand out when you're sensing your whole body, what's easy to feel and to notice. And notice if there's any places that you just can't really sense or that are more faint or subtle in your awareness. Notice how you sense it. Do you have like a sonar visual picture of your body? Do you feel it in sensation? Is there a unifying sensation that connects your whole body? Are there kind of spots of sensation in different places that feel differently? Just kind of check out that whole body and notice how you receive the information that allows you to sense that whole body. And when you're ready, begin to expand, to spread out your awareness, continuing to notice your whole body, 
also let yourself notice what's underneath you. If you're sitting, notice the physicality and do the kind of similar process of like scan. I'm sitting in a chair, so I'm noticing the arms of the chair next to my arms and I'm noticing the seat underneath me and I'm noticing its kind of size, its textures. I'm imagining its weight based on how it feels holding my weight and I'm feeling it resting on the floor and I'm feeling it holding my weight resting on the floor and then I'm noticing the floor underneath both me and the chair that I'm sitting on hold our weight. So just take some time to notice if you're sitting, what's holding you up, the levels of the layers of what's holding you up, chair, couch, a bed, a, a platform of some kind, and then the floor, the earth underneath that or, or underneath you. If you're standing, the earth underneath you, the floor underneath you, wherever you are, whatever your position is, notice what's holding you up, scan it, check out its different aspects, the different ways you experience it, how you receive the information of its form, of its shape, of its position in space, the way that it takes up and fills the space where you are. Now just begin to include that in your sense of yourself and what you're connected to. And keep allowing your breath to return you to deepen your presence in this practice. Notice what kinds of breath help with that. And let your breath be a tool to notice your whole body, to notice the space you take up. Filling your whole body with your breath and letting your breath strengthen your sense of your whole body. Letting that breath go down into the floor, the earth underneath you. And letting your awareness when you're ready expand to the earth, the floor, the surface underneath you that's holding you up. And let your awareness expand to the limits of that surface. So if you're in a room Notice how much of the floor you can feel until you can sense the walls. If you're outside, notice how far you can sense the ground. Continuing to sense your own body, continuing to sense your whole body whatever is holding you up. And then the surface that's holding you up. And notice the texture of that surface. Notice the density of that surface. Notice how that surface interacts with your body, with your weight, with your shape and your form, with your center of gravity.
And if you have walls around you, when you're ready, begin to include the walls, the barriers, the boundaries in the space you're in. If it's trees, if it's buildings, if it's people, bushes, walls, whatever, notice the boundaries of your space as they connect to the surface underneath you and notice the texture of those boundaries. And notice what of them you can feel and sense. Can you tell the difference between the window and the surface of the glass? Can you feel its thinness? Can you sense the light coming through? Can you notice the gypsum, the drywall and its surface and the way that sound bounces off of it or its reflective nature or the panels, the layers of it and the insulation in between. Can you sense any wood on the walls that's denser and thicker? Can you feel the thinness, the opening of the doorway? Can you feel what else is in the space around you? Can you feel the plant matter, the leaves and the trunk if you're outside and you're sensing plants, trees, bushes. Can you feel the movement of the people if there's people around you and their flesh and their weight and their size and the way that they feel space? What do you notice about the matter in the space around you as it is connected to the surface underneath you as you and your whole body are connected to that surface. And breathe. And be kind. Whatever you notice is fine. There's no right or wrong. You don't need to be a bat or a dolphin right now. You can sense none of this. Just keep checking on your own body and whatever information you have about the space around you. And breathe. Letting your breath help you sense your whole body. And begin to return when you're ready to your whole body, just your body, centering your experience, your awareness, your attention here in your body, allowing the information that you just found, if you found any about the space around you to be peripheral, notice it, but let your center of gravity return to your own body. Noticing again, the sensations, the warmth, what your body emanates, the breath as it fills your body. the weight of your body, the size and the forms of your body, the unifying sensations you experience throughout your whole body. The different experiences in different parts of your body where there's lots of information, where there's very little or maybe even none where it's your imagination and you're picturing a part of your body but you can't quite feel it. Notice the different ways that you sense your body through weight, through temperature, through tingle, through mind's eye, third eye, sonar location, through your spatial reflection and contrast, the way that you feel the space around you and the way that you feel your body. And let yourself drop into your own body weight. 
noticing your whole body and really the way that it rests on the surfaces underneath you. With each exhale, sink, uh, relaxing your muscles, allowing your whole body weight to surrender to the surfaces underneath you. And also in each exhale, as you surrender your weight, allow your body to rise up naturally. What rises, what gains levity, what lifts as you release any holding and as you allow the force of gravity that holds you so close to the earth all the time and that allows you the freedom to jump, to move, to run, to fly. and sink and rise at once as you continue to sense your whole body on the surfaces underneath you. And extend your sense of that weight and that rise further below you and further above you. Sink into the center of the earth with your energy as you release. Rise into the cosmos, the center of your head pointed at the sun that we are in gravitational relationship with spinning around. Into the center of the galaxy into any sense of center of the universe. Sinking and rising with each breath. And here's where we allow that pendulum hit. As you sink and as you rise and as you extend your sense of your whole body to include a channel going down into the center of the earth and a channel going up out of the earth into the center of the cosmos. See how much you can allow your whole body in this channel to feel empty to feel still, hollow, and almost like an invisibility cloak, like matching the space around you, matching the fabric of the universe. Thoughts flow through sensations, emotions, breath, experience, the world around us, all of it just moves through with as little resistance as we can find each moment emptying, each moment embracing that invisibility cloak and matching the vibration of the fabric of the universe, our whole bodies, that channel down into the center, up into the center, hollow, chameleon into the fabric of the universe. Breathing matching the vibration of the atmosphere, the air that we breathe in and the air that we breathe out. Allowing flow upwards and downwards simultaneously between the center below us and the center above us. 
moving through our whole hollow body from above and from below to below and to above. Dropping underneath thought to a space of no thought, even just for a split moment, for a whole moment. residing in those moments, the way that we reside in thought. Letting the thoughts just come and go, paying them as little mind as possible, noticing the sequence of emptiness in between the thoughts, even if thoughts come in between them, allowing our orientation to be to the emptiness in between them again and again until they string together. Practicing the same with sensation. Noticing the space in between information, bodily sensation, residing, orienting to the emptiness in between what we experience as experience, hollowing. the whole channel, the whole body. Being kind, gentle, exercising as little effort as possible when we notice we've gotten distracted and just returning again to the emptiness, to the hollowness, to the stillness, to the silence in between thoughts and sounds and sensations and movement. blending with the moment. As if this emptiness, this stillness, this space is who we are, is where we belong, is where our safety, is where our information, is where our Joy is where our lives, our existence is.
returning again and again to that emptiness, to the spaces in between, the liminal space. in the whole body, all the way down to the center of the earth, all the way up to the center of the universe. Noticing any ways that you experience the pendulums inside of you, the forces of nature realigning your being through this practice. Returning to the hollow, to the empty, to the liminal space in between, thought, sensation, feeling, to the liminal space in between, identity, individuality, emptying and becoming nothing and therefore everything. On a very physical, very experiential level. Notice the non-reactiveness necessary for this practice, returning each moment to an emptiness. There is no state to hold on to, to control. There is no reaction to whatever is happening. There is just an emptying. There is a nothingness. A hollowness. A refresh. And breathe. Returning again and again to the whole body. To the surface underneath you. All the way down into the center of the earth to the space above you, all the way up into the center of the universe, allowing the center of the earth and the center of the universe to be directly connected with an unblocked flow, with a free flow between them. Because of our hollowness, because we are not in the way 
We are the way. Turning to the space in between thoughts. What if the answer to every thought was the deep listening of emptiness? What if the source of every choice and every action was the source of the material realm, the emptiness of dark matter of pure potential. What if the canvas of our very existence is this emptiness. Can you feel yourself emerge each moment from this emptiness into physical form, which although may come with so much experience and information is also the emptiness. Can you feel your physical form and feel emptiness in every cell? I'm sure our indigenous peoples have been saying this all along. We know Einstein described the universe as 99.9% empty space, all matter, hollow shells of molecules, dancing mini solar systems with a few planets, electrons, protons, neutrons, whatever else is in there. (laughs) Little planets dancing around, creating the shell of a molecule. Little molecules clustered together, creating the shell of form. Still, all of us, all of it filled with mostly, almost entirely empty space. We live in light supremacy. We are obsessed with the material world and our ruling cultures. But it is mostly empty. We are mostly empty. Darkness is not evil. Darkness is the source of existence, the fabric of the universe, the place where light and matter is born. What if this emptiness is our home? What if this is the place we return to, we rest, we reside in? And just like life, the forms are fleeting, are transitory, they come and go, thoughts, feelings, lifetimes, beings, civilizations, planets, solar systems, galaxies, And what is actually constant is this emptiness. What happens when we align ourselves to it, when we allow ourselves to rest in it, when we return to it over and over again as our place of home, the way most of us do with thoughts and form. and breathe and return again to your hollow body and your hollow channel 
to the fullness of the emptiness of this moment. Invisibility cloaking, matching the vibrations, the fabric of the universe as you, as no self, as no thing, as everything. And take a few more moments to rest into this practice. And begin to notice when you're ready what it might be like when you turn this video off, when you transition to whatever is next. And notice the emptiness. Imagine the absence of my presence on camera with you through the internet on your phone or computer or your device. And go into the emptiness of that transition and the state after the transition where I'm gone from this form from you. And notice the emptiness that will still be present in whatever else you do, whatever else is filling your space and your awareness, your experience. So as we transition, I invite you to just keep turning towards and finding, locating and residing in the emptiness. The spaces in between. That hollow channel, your whole body, your intellectual witness space your emotional witness space, your sensational physical witness space, your spatial awareness, all of it, all the layers and levels of your experience, find the liminal, the in-between, the empty, find the stillness. Okay, thank you for calling this meditation forth from the abyss. Mama Lisa sent me a text this morning saying she found a note, like a post-it or something that just said, liminal time. <laughs> Had to look it up, found it really interesting and powerful. Last night, I put the video together with the pool balls and was prepared to offer this meditation this morning. I love the ways that things work together. Rest in the emptiness as a sweet pocket and allow things to work together. Thank you for working with me. Thank you for filling and returning to the emptiness with me.